Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video. Today I want to show you guys three different Easter eggs inside of the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. And what I mean by Easter egg is I'm talking about something that is hidden inside of the phone that you didn't know you were able to do, and here we are finding it for you. I know there's a lot of different videos that is online with the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus, and I'm trying to hit three things that hopefully you did not see online just yet. And I gotta be completely honest, I don't watch other videos online, so I don't know what people are talking about other than the ones that I shoot for you guys here on YouTube. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit on the like as well as the subscribe if you have not already to watch more videos similar to this. Now the very first one I'm gonna show you guys is dealing with all the different settings on the very top of your device. Now first off, what I usually like to do is go inside of the button grid and you can change the grid going from the three by three, the four by three, as well as the five by three. Now this is not the hidden trick I'm trying to show. I just wanted to see more icons on the very top of my device. This is what I would like to to show you guys. Usually when you go inside of any of these different type of settings, you usually just kind of press on it. Or what you usually do is you would go on the icon and you would press and hold, which would give you more settings. So there we are, I press and held and it gave me more settings. What you probably didn't know is you can actually, you know, press on the word instead of holding the icon and this gives you more options. So as example, here's the flashlight and I can you know, take it all the way up to like a level five. Here's a level three and then a level one. So you can change the intensity of your flashlight just by doing that quick little touch of the word and not on the icon. So let's go over into sound. And if you click there, boom, it just takes you a lot quicker and it's in a little bit smaller of a screen. So that right there was trick number one. Now, trick number two is dealing with switching between applications extremely fast. So let's say that I'm over inside of the Chrome. I'm checking out the internet. I'm reading what's going on. And then I was like, shoot, I really need to shoot a text message. So now I'm inside a text message and I am writing a message over to random over here and I'm doing anything and everything I'm doing. Now, instead of actually just hitting on the recents and going on over to the app that I wanted to get back into, all you have to do is actually just double tap on the recent apps button and it actually will switch it between the very last application that you had opened. So let's say right now we are in the internet, which I am, and let's go over into YouTube. Now, if I wanted to go into the internet extremely fast, how am I able to do that? You guys answered it. Just double tap on that recent button, boom, and it switches right between the last you know, application and then the application before that. So it's the last two applications that you use. And using this trick, you'll find it to be extremely handy. And for the very last and third trick, this one is going to deal with pin windows. Now I've covered pin windows before in previous devices, but this one is something that's hidden that not many people know. And it actually is helpful, especially if you keep hitting some of these buttons and it takes you out of an application. Or if you have children, maybe they're watching YouTube and they accidentally hit the back or the home button and shoot, now they're outside the app, now they're crying for your help. So here's what you're able to do. Let's say that we go inside of YouTube. Now, whatever is the most recent application is the way you're able to get this trick done. That's just by hitting on that recent app button. But as you can see, this is what you'll check out when you first hit the recent apps. What you want to do is actually scroll up. Boom, this right here is the icon for pin windows. Once you turn this thing on and you start it, if you have anybody who is a kid, a child, uh, maybe it's your friend and you don't want them to get out of the application, whatever the case, they cannot go back. I mean, you can go inside of a, a video, you can hit the back button, so you can still interact with the application itself, but you can't get out of the app, you can't hit that home button, you can't even get inside your recent apps either. Even if you were to you know, turn off your phone, turn it back on, it'll basically take you right back over into that application and if you restart the phone or turn it off, it goes to the lock screen. So again, there's really no way they can get out of this application. The only way you're able to is if you were to read what this little notification right here says, it says to press and hold the back in the recent app button at the exact same time. When you press and hold both of those at the same time, now you have unlocked it but you can see that I am now in my lock screen. So again, still preventing them from getting out of that application and getting in your phone and doing a whole bunch of stuff. So for the purpose of this video, I actually set up my pin to be 11111, which you never want to do that. So where is the setting for pin windows? Pull down the notifications panel and click on settings. Then you go down to where it says the lock screen and security. Underneath lock screen and security, then you're going to go all the way down to where it says other security options. 
Scroll down all the way again and boom, there is pin windows. And this is where you can number one, turn it on. And number two, ask for the pin before unpinning. Now, if that was a lot of steps to do that with, all you would have to do is hit on that settings button, click on the search, and then just type in pin. And then you start typing in pin windows. Boom, it'll pop up right away for you if you don't wanna go through all that. And here's a little fun one. I'm gonna do the number four tip and trick, which I'm gonna call this thing number three. This one is just for fun and it's an additional Easter egg. And it's dealing with Bixby voice because Bixby voice is new. So check this one out. Hi Bixby. Take a selfie. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Ah! Kaplow, and it takes the picture for sure, you. I captured it. Thank you. <laughs> and it takes the picture for you. So not only does it open the camera and make sure it's on the front facing camera, it also hits the shutter button for you as well. I hope you guys have liked this video. As I said from before, hit on that like button, hit on the share button, as well as most importantly, hit on subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Hey, if you guys found this video to be helpful, make sure you guys do a good turn daily and pay it forward and also hit on the subscribe button on the very bottom left hand side. And then on the very bottom right hand side, you guys will be able to check out the very next video. And right above that is the playlist for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. See you guys later.